Frozen shoulder is not an orthopedic condition. It's a rheumatological condition, meaning that all these years we've been attempting to fix it using orthopedic concepts like stretching and strengthening, which at best work minimally, but most often just prolong the condition. We can't attack a rheumatological condition with aggressive exercises or manual therapies and assume that approach will solve the problem. There is no evidence of what I've been preaching for over a decade, which is that frozen shoulder is an autoimmune reaction. It's an autoimmune disorder. In this 2024 paper titled, A New Perspective of Frozen Shoulder Pathology, the interplay between the brain and the immune system, suggests that psycho-emotional stress factors and pathogenic immune challenges could be the main cause of frozen shoulder syndrome. So what does that mean? It means that the more one fears frozen shoulder, the more one has anxieties and stress over the condition, the greater the immune response will be to protect the shoulder as fear is fuel for the autoimmune system, especially the one that's already gone haywire. That's why I've always supported corticosteroid injections for this condition, especially during the severe inflammatory phase when the pain is constant. Steroid injections can help suppress the immune system, and for this condition, that's really desired. However, what's not desired in healthcare professionals, when they offer endless treatments and promises of cures that only lead to patients being more disappointed and disheartened in the seemingly never-ending shoulder pain. Each failed treatment comes at an expense. It inevitably increases the sense of threat and danger associated with the condition. Even if treatments offer temporary relief, they're still sending messages to the immune system that, that there is something dangerously wrong that needs to be fixed, which again fuels the flame of this autoimmune condition. So how is one to exactly treat frozen shoulder then? This 2022 paper titled Essential Nervous System Focus Treatment Program for People with Frozen Shoulder, they showed that non-manual therapy and non-exercise based treatments actually help patients. So what do I recommend? I recommend that we need to stop telling patients that we're attempting to fix their shoulder pain. Whenever we attempt to escape something, we're telling our nervous system that we are escaping danger because why would you ever need to escape something that is safe? The more we give the message to patients that their frozen shoulder pain is dangerous that needs to be solved, the more fuel we're adding to the immune system to remain hypervigilant in the shoulder. Therefore, the best solution, in my humble opinion, to make patients, it, the solution is to make patients feel safe with their condition. The, to no longer attempt to escape their pain, to no longer fear it, to not repeatedly ask the question, when will this get better? But to ask, what can I still do despite my shoulder condition? Looking at a frozen shoulder through a lens of safety is certainly not easy, but with the right clinical skills as physiotherapists, we can do it. Instead of prescribing exercises to escape pain or escape the condition, the same exercise may be prescribed with the mindset of moving towards a desirable goal, such as be able to lift up their grandkids again, or to go swimming again, or to do yoga. I'll say it again, whenever we attempt to escape something, we're telling our nervous system that we are in danger. Because why would you ever need to escape something that was safe? The more we give them messages of danger to patients, that their frozen shoulder and that their condition is horrible and needs to be solved, the more fuel we are adding to the immune system to remain. It remains hypervigilant in the shoulder. I recommend that we need to stop telling patients that we are attempting to fix their frozen shoulder. We already know that based on a review paper of over 2,000 patients, passive interventions actually delay recovery. So if you're interested in learning more about frozen shoulder management, you may attend my persistent pain course in September or my full diploma program starting in November or my online shoulder course. You can find information on all these courses. They're available at apti.ca.
I really appreciate you taking the time to hear me out. Thank you.